So you've exhibited about 30 of your adult movie posters. I think, yeah, I think 30 of them. How many do you have in your collection? I have more than 45. Wow. Yeah. And which era do they belong to? You know, I just think most of them are early 80s and uh, maybe late 70s, some of them. All right. So I think like here, if you look at all of them, have a very definite look. Right. You know, like all handwritten. See, the whole thing is uh, handwritten, right? Absolutely. Uh, and the pictures are cut paste from magazines, disproportionate. Ah, right. Right. I don't think that even these pictures are part of the movie. Right. Now, in the last two, three years, I don't know. Right. What's the look of, let's say, Chuck Day? Right. You know, right. You, is it difficult to... Remember. Right. In your poster collection, mm -hmm. how many of them are from uh, from Hindi films and how many from regional cinema? I think most of them are regional cinema and uh, all the most of the Hindi ones are actually like dubs, not even translation. Right. Yeah. So a lot of the Hindi names are actually either uh, mostly Mallu films. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You know, a lot of the movies are from Kerala. All right. And uh, so when they come to Bombay, they change the name. You know, like. It becomes her nights and things like that. And this and now, now this movie, her nights, it's not really uh, like a, I mean none of them are actually porn films. You know there right. are like couple of scenes of some mm. woman bathing, or like just sh showing her legs or you know right. like uh, something like that. So it's uh, more like a marketing gimmick than. I think yeah because these movies when they come to right. uh, the north right. or Bombay. Right. What happens, like, there are like one or two scenes mm -hmm. in the movie, right. even in the original, right. which is like like a bathing skin or something. Right. Obviously, like, marketing to certain kind right. of uh, audience right. and, you know, like, trying to show sex right. uh, in a limited sort of way. Right. So then, those days, that was a big deal. You know what I'm saying? There was no internet, you know. That right. is only sex you've seen. Right. Because uh, most uh, people lived uh, in a kind of... Um, big family setup, right. you know what I'm saying? Very sheltered environment. Very sheltered and you know, like every house will have like 10 people. Right. So people didn't have television. Right. You can't even shut your bedroom and watch TV, right? Right. Only place you could see some bit of, you right. know, the morning show. women's body was like right. in movies. Right. So the movies again, uh, only morning shows actually shown you a little bit of right. sex, even right. if it's someone bathing. Right. You know, it's right. not even someone making out, it's just woman bathing and you right. know like some part of her legs or something is like through right. wet clothes or she right. takes over clothes right. and I think later they became little uh, more adventurous so suddenly in the middle of a movie there's a sudden cut and then there is like some deadly crazy kind of a scene. nude right. scene right. like you know someone getting raped or something in a very uh, and often just thrust in there and yeah but it's you know like it's not even like uh, properly done you could hear the director <laughs> <laughs> telling the actress, hey, look here and all that kind of thing. So it's like really like, you know, for some kind of desperate uh, 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 people, right. you know, I think it's kind of desperate measures for those days. But now I think things have changed. Yeah. But the, the morning show culture, I think it's still there in small towns, you know. Sometimes when you drive out of Delhi, Bombay, mm -hmm. you still see some posters kind of like this. Even today. Even today. You see that. Right. But you know that even earlier, you you have seen this a lot. But I think after our show, there was a lot of discussion uh, about uh, morning show. Were you a fan of the morning show back then as a youngster? See, when I was in school, mm -hmm. that uh, first of all, there was not even, uh, we could not even go to see a movie, you know. Right. The first movie I saw, like, uh, we ran away from school and so was like some... Uh, Telugu movie or something, right. you know, and didn't even understand anything, you know. Right. By the time we were able to see, I was actually working in Bangalore. And okay. we used to go, like a lot of us used to go. Right. But, um, like, what so, did the so audience comprise? All kind of people. So, if you if you see, uh, this see the morning show, they start around 10, 10 30 and gets over by mm. 12 30, mm. 1. You see the kind of people coming out of the theatres. It's like what they call the decent, you know, crowd. <laughs> you know, so all kind of people, college kids to old uncles. But like, especially in Kerala, you see like, you know, everyone is in crisp white shirt and... That's such a fantastic Yeah, it's scene. fantastic, like, you know, like everyone walks out and as if they've seen nothing. You know, <laughs> because, you know, the they're society is a big thing, right? Right. I think that is also the reason, you know, like society mm. plays like a... Huge role. Huge role right. in this kind of, uh, 
putting control over things, right? right? right. Otherwise, who really cares, you know? Right. That's why people, when they see posters, they don't look because <laughs> what will be my, what will my neighbor thing, you know? Is, so, there's a lot of that uh, put on, right. you know, like the, there's a pressure from the society, you know what I'm right. saying? I think that also played a lot of, I mean, that played a very strong role in uh, the reason right. why people behave very shady right. when it comes to watching morning right. shows. Watching but now it is completely changed. Now the morning show is children's movies, right? Of course. So it's now absolutely it's just not, yeah. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. you know, when you go to yeah. see morning show, that means uh, yeah. you've gone with your child it's or something. also why that name morning show for your exhibition was so important. Yeah, that, because see, that is the reason context, why. Yeah, right. You know, because very right. often, like, if you don't... Uh, Give it the right context, then right. you are losing an opportunity to kind of establish right. that idea in one shot, you know. Right. Otherwise, right. we'll be explaining, and you know, then right. you got right. to right. do those weird uh, curatorial notes and things like that. Right. <laughs> Was there a difference in the audience for morning shows at that time mm -hmm. in the city and the audience in small towns? I don't think so. No, I think same it is the same because you know right. it is. I think it's like if you see Bombay now, mm. that uh, all these couples hang around. Uh, on Juhu Beach or that banner on that, uh, you know, uh, on the boundary walls. Right. It does the same thing because, right. you know, there is like, you are living in part of a large family. Right. You know, so there is no space for like, you know, exactly. you, have, you, you have no personal space. Right. So if you have a girlfriend or your wife, exactly. you are better off outside than inside the house. <laughs> inside you know? the house. So, right. I think so that uh, even the movie watching, it right. was part of that. It's part of that. Now it's okay, you know what I'm saying? Even if you're part of a big family, you can have three TVs right. in the house and, right. you know, right. if you have the money, that is. Right. You know, otherwise, those days, uh, one, people didn't have television. Secondly, like there was only Doordarshan, even if you had right. television. Right. And then, when do you see, like, only thing you saw was uh, whatever, you know, Chitrahar or something. Right. So, like, sex <laughs> is like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> So it was like desperate situation, you know what I am saying? Even just to right. see like some part of someone's leg, <laughs> you have to wake up early morning and go on a Sunday to see a morning show or like you know, like all the college kids they right. go, uh, right. cut work and go. Right. But a lot of the people who go to work, I hmm. am talking about all kind of people coming out of the theatre, you know, it right. used to be full, right. you know, with kind right. of mix of… Uh, Very curious, were there women, did you ever see women at the morning never. shows? Never. Never. When and why? Did yeah. you start collecting these posters? See, I'm not like a kind of desperate uh, porn poster collector, but, but I collect all kind of things. That's right. Yeah. So this happened like some 10 years back. Right. That uh, when we started our company, it was called A. Kind right. of, you know, anarchy, kind of adult, right. you know, that kind of a symbol. Right. So we thought, oh, like, you know, maybe it's a good idea to like find this kind of posters. Right. So I called a friend of mine who's a producer in Bombay right. and she actually sent me a packet right. of some 40 posters. Wow, okay. So then, apart from that, I've collected, you know, from here and there, you know. Right. But it, which I keep doing, all kind of random stuff. Right. You know, like from small towns right. or it could be like some carpenter in Pondicherry or it could be some gallery in New York, you know. Right. So I just keep... Uh, Right. Picking things up from all kind of random places, right. you know. Awesome. That time even I didn't think of it as like a big cultural thing, you know. Right. Only recently right. when we said, oh God, like we said, you know, this is a great thing because in the last 10-15 uh, years, you know, there has been a lot of discussion on Indian poster art and street art and right. blah, 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 blah. Right. The whole kitsch has been done. Right. You know, and then this is like a very strong kind of a, a art style in itself. Right. But no Sometimes. one has uh, talked right. about it, no one, you know, kind of discussed right. it. So we thought it was a great idea to kind of uh, right. discuss it in the right way, you know. Right. If you really look at it, look at uh, the amount of places mm. where it is documented properly, right. there will be very few. Right. So everyone right. looks, everyone does this thing, you know. Right. Finally, there are very few people who are actually doing something about it, right. you know. Right. So when the art market kind of boomed, a lot of people used that and, you know, did something and all exactly. in order to sell. Yeah. But seriously, uh, kind of uh, documenting it, Mm. and uh, made it available to public in a serious way, very few people do that. Right. Mostly what happened that whole, that, that in India story became big. Right. That India kids story. Right. You know, like the 50 years of independence and all that, you know, right. like in London you see like, you know, the Indian taxis being beautifully dressed up exactly, and you know, a yeah. lot of that yeah, happened. Yeah. So what happened, the poster became just part of that overall street thing. Right. right. You know, that so, right. yeah, so right. that's what I'm saying. So very few people are able to kind of break it down into different regions and things right. like that. So right. leave alone this. 
so this comes as a kind of i think the last, uh, the last bit to the whole story is there any particular contribution that this genre of poster art mm. adult movie poster art mm. would have made that you can think of to either the form or content of poster art or mm. art itself yeah yeah i think so because are there any examples that's difficult to say but you know what i'm saying is that like lot of things this whole digital thing is killed uh originality you know what i'm saying yeah because earlier even if you were a lazy artist who has no idea you still had to draw and paint and cut and paste to make something happen right now you can actually just go online mm. you know and do your own thing right you know what i'm saying so yeah. what happens that if if so if you look at not just this if you look at uh, all our street art everything it's all been like really screwed up under this uh, digital thing and there's vinyl all over the place what according to you could be some key elements of that genre or art form where indian post art is concerned indian movie post art also of this sub genre yeah. are there any key elements i think on of? this so one is this kind of one definite style of the artist right then the naming right crazy names they come up with you know yeah. and so like there, there are enough elements which yeah. actually makes this art form kind of unique right so one of the naming and then there is a line that right hmm. under that explaining the movie you know how can a girl rape a boy you know some random things hmm. like that you yeah, know give some examples so, so that's very so i'll show you some of the posters you know what i want to say see like things like this you know kam 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 tantra yeah like. kam tantra right and then like this kam kala ke aadhar kam kala ke aadhar par kani plus this kind of uh, disproportionate uh, right cut and paste right. thing depiction, you know right. depiction yeah. and then the kurao temple it's, uh, it's all of them are like that you know look at uh, it's all uh, disproportionate you know like sometimes they see like like a picture of uh, someone's breast in from right. one magazine right, right. and uh, someone's face hey. is like shoved down yeah <laughs> so that style right is kind of crude right you know right but uh, there is a look There's, know, an that's, that's there's an aesthetic there's an aesthetic which is right. strange you know right it's all because of the cut and paste and disproportion right. because right. you know these days on a computer you can actually fix it right those days exactly. you cut and paste right. Right. you know some bromide paste it right. there then you take another picture copy right. it and you right. start printing you know right so look at all this all hand written you know right it's not uh, uh, right and there are those sentences again that you were talking about so everything has got that uh, right. some line you know right the sub genre of yeah. indian adult movie poster art right what are the elements that you see sort of borrowed from abroad and what are the elements that you see that are indigenous homegrown i think what is borrowed are the pictures of the girls right i we think they straight away right. take from some right. fashion magazines right again if you look at the pictures all from 80s magazines you know right. maybe right. like some like some innocent women's magazine yeah you know <laughs> so that <laughs> is straight away yeah or you know yeah. like cut and paste yeah. and rest is i think is all uh, done here You kind know, of lettering right. style and naming right. and so all that you know yeah, yeah 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 right. and then there is also within that there are two three types you know one is this kind of romantic you yeah. know like a simple girl bathing you right. know yeah. then there is also this horror movies right you know there are a lot of them like right. you know some deadly horror movies right. again like right. but there is always someone in the shower right. <laughs> <laughs> one thing i mean this is something that i feel i feel that despite the posters that i'm looking at right now mm-hmm. i feel that they are less graphic Compared yeah. to adult movie posters abroad, perhaps. Mm, Do you yeah. feel this is true as well? Yeah, yeah. See, there is. I think some of, I mean, all the the artwork those days, right? Uh, internationally, they were well designed. Right. If you see all the Red Shoe Diary series and all right. of them, beautifully right. designed. Right. You know that aesthetics very different. Yeah. Here, that aesthetics again, it's not done by some great designers. You know. Very wrong. Like what happened was those days. Even I used to work um, long back when I was in school. in a company which did um, all the street paintings and all that oh okay so those aesthetics are like what you are not really well trained in a design school right it is just uh, i mean you are an artist yeah but you are an artist who could you have a craft you know that's a i think that is actually the bigger kind of discussion i think we need to have i mean not on this subject yeah because most of the people who are artists who are craft but they are not great designers you know they don't right. have great aesthetics right. like i'm sure the guy who did this he got a great hand yeah It's like a hairstylist. Right. You know how to cut your hair, but you can't style it. You know. Posters here seem more modest than the posters. Oh yeah, of course. Like so, that's a uh, country is like that. You know. Right. You can't openly like uh, show anything. And do you think that carries on to the films as well? Do you think even the adult films of those times yeah. had this little bit of 
middle class morality of so course big time looking over it yeah, yeah yeah definitely see that is why everything is shady right <laughs> right why would people like hide and go to these halls you know right. or like even if they see the movies they will not tell you i've seen the movie right, you know what i'm right, saying right. only few friends will know yeah. <laughs> because uh, <laughs> it's a society yeah. thing you know yeah society has got a lot of issues yeah but it's okay if it's in the temple yeah you know <laughs> <laughs> see that's the thing you know like we we started the whole kajura and you know like uh, kama sutra and all that and then we put this unnecessary conditioning over people you know and it's a, we are a very confused society that way you know yeah. so so it's okay for kama sutra but yeah, yeah. Uh, but not for no Not Look at the movies. Like if there is a kissing scene, hmm. it is written all over Times of India front page. Yeah. You know, like how many times there is a kissing scene yeah. in a movie, you know? Yeah. Because till yeah. recently we were like, when the kissing scene comes, then what a drop or like, and we'll do something even very crude, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Aesthetically crude things. Yeah. But we will not kiss. We will not kiss. That's true. So obviously there is some uh, some strange uh, moral uh, okay. this problem in everyone's head, you know? Do you have any of these posters made you curious about watching a film, an adult film, which you haven't seen before? Most of them I have not seen. Uh, I guess that's what would. I mean, that's. I think I've seen that her nights I've seen, hmm. because I, that's why I'm able to tell you clearly. But it's just like right. there's only one like a scene of her right. right. bathing or something, right. you know. Apart from that, uh, no, I right. don't think so. Yeah. No, but no. I'm saying that have they made you curious about what would this film be about? Which are the no, posters that are making? No, I think these posters. Like once you once you know the truth, hmm. you know that this is not in the movie, right? So it just ah, makes you kind so of yeah. like only thing makes you curious is like what must be going through the, the director's mind or the guy who designed it, right? Because this is definitely she's not in this movie. Yeah. So how you know do you figure saying? out this sort of like you're looking at it more? Now I'm saying like when I look at it now, I just uh, the curiosity is only about the thinking. My God, what must have gone through this guy's head? <laughs> you know? Right. Because you know you don't get all this in the movie. Right. You know, it's yeah. a lie. You know. Yeah. <laughs> And you've never thought about finding out more about the film itself. For instance, I mean, I would be very interested to find out who, what Goldline Three is, what Flying Flying is. In fact, we we, we were actually thinking. When we were doing the show, we tried to get in yeah. touch with a lot of people. Yeah. You know, so we we couldn't even get to uh, some of the uh, printers even. Yeah. You know, okay. we were trying to actually get some interviews done by some directors yeah. and things like that. Exactly. We yeah. might actually do that. We are trying to like find yeah. these people. Yeah. Like uh, we don't even know who's done this, right? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, at least that says G Three Rama Murthy presents. Yes. So, so there's a lead there. There's a lead there. You yeah. know, like all yeah. these, you know. Yeah. Producers yeah. Jagadish Reddy and director Ashok Kumar. Right. A lot of directors are the same. If you see all the posters, right. the lot of directors and producers are right. the same. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. So yeah. be curious. I mean, one would be curious to see. Who yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll, we'll do a special story on Motherland. Ah, sounds you know? fun actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds fun. Yeah, yeah. And the new one is on Ghost. Right. Yeah. So I'll do that. Thank you so much, Sunil. Great. Right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah.